Whew. Um, I had chemo today and so I thought I would take this time because over the past couple of days I've had a couple of people in real life tell me how positive I am and then I've had one tell me that I use humor to cover up that I'm hurting. Um, I like to believe it's a little bit of both. Uh, I think that it's possible maybe to fool myself a little bit if I keep um, jokey, that's a word, on the outside, then I can cover up um, the fact that I might be hurting because of my disease. Emotionally, not physically, because I mostly just cover that with Vicodin. Um, but I thought I might talk about a few ways that I do use to stay positive and happy because it's so much easier to be that than the other. Um, I've done both. Being happy is way more fun. To stay happy, I make use of the people around me. Um, my daughter is very positive all the time. Um, I, and I hope that maybe that has something to do with me. Uh, my mom is very positive. She does things for herself that kind of refill her cup so that she has energy to take care of me when I feel kind of crummy. Um, my dad is hilarious and he, you know, laughter just can make you feel so much better. Um, YouTube, <laughs> there's so much on here that makes me laugh. Um, it's silly, but Pinterest, uh, I probably have over a thousand pins and um, I've probably done uh, three Pinterest projects. <laughs> but it's fun for me to find that stuff because um, it speaks to the creative part of me and seeing those things made and knowing that at some point uh, maybe I could make them too uh, makes me feel better. I mean, and all of that, that's a distraction. YouTube is a distraction. Filming this video is a distraction. I just decided I was laying in my bed feeling bleh. And I thought, you know, I'll, I'll make a video about how I stay positive. Because <laughs> then I have to be positive in the video. Vera Bradley makes me happy. If you don't know what Vera Bradley is, Google it. It's wonderful bright floral patterns that they come out with I think four times a year so you it's possible to change your bag every four months and they're not six hundred dollars and they're made of cloth and they last forever I have two messenger bags that I've had for at least six years I mean if you're a guy you might not like them but I'm betting there's not a lot of guys watching my video. My oncologist helps me stay positive. And that, I think, is one of the best things to have. If your oncologist makes you feel like you're gonna die, find a new one. Um, even when she's delivering bad news, there's always some positive spin on it that makes me feel better. And I always know she's on my side. And she doesn't want me to feel sick. And so if I go too long feeling too bad, we try something different. Even if it's working, she's offered to try something different. I usually say no, because if it's working, I'd rather feel crummy and have it be working. I take trips so that I have wonderful, wonderful things to remember and think about. Um, I visit family because then I also have those memories to think about when I feel really low. I'm lucky, I have a niece and a nephew who are, are arguably the most adorable children. I mean, aside from my child. And they do adorable things, and they like adorable things. And they make me want to pinch their cheeks all the time. And so I have them to think about. And I have a wonderful family and so much support. And they come and they see me when I feel bad and they bring me Subway sandwiches because you can eat white bread when you're having chemo because it digests easily. <laughs> um, I have family from far away that send me messages on Facebook just letting me know that they're thinking about me. And just knowing that I'm in someone's mind 
makes me feel better. And laughing about all of it makes it better, always. Because if you can't laugh about what's going on, there's really nothing to do. I mean, you know, you have to laugh. I'm 36 years old. I have stage four ovarian cancer. I'm gonna be on chemo forever. It'd be really easy to just sit down and go, oh, I'm done. I don't wanna do this anymore. I, I'm, I don't wanna be positive. I don't wanna be the person that gets up and does things. I just wanna lay in my bed. And not to say that I don't have those days. I give myself those days because you have to. My aunt calls it my chemo hole. Um, and I always feel better once I've pulled myself out of it. But the A number one thing that I do anytime I'm told that I'm gonna lose my hair, which I might with this one, it's not a definite, but my hair could thin and I have very fine hair, so if it thins, it's really just better to shave it off. I look like a mangy dog with little patches of hair and patches of not hair. So, um, what I do when I know that maybe that's gonna happen, I choose to do something fun to my head. And um, I figure then if the hairs fall out, I'll have little piles of happiness in my hand. It sounds stupid, but it makes me feel better. And let me just say, in the infusion room today, this, can you see it? Maybe a little sweaty because of my hat. This was a hit. <laughs> I um, got told I looked like a snow cone or no I made them want a snow cone not that I looked like a snow cone nobody there would ever say that but these are the things you know just something little that when I and if color isn't your thing then don't do this to your head but it is mine and so when I look in the mirror or when I've looked in the mirror for the last two days because that's how long I've had this I smile and sometimes that's all it takes so I hope I've said something that's helpful. I hope that my friends that are watching feel a little bit closer to me because these videos help me feel a little bit closer to everybody. And I love you all. Oh, on September 22nd, there's going to be an ovarian cancer break the silence walk in Arlington at the ballpark in Arlington where the Texas Rangers play baseball. Uh, my team is at NIPS All Stars. A-T-N-I-P-A-L-L-S-T-A-R-S. -L -L and, um, you know, I just, we have to raise $3,500 to earn a tent. And so I thought I'd just put that out there. Um, if you can and you live in the area, I would love for you to come walk with me. If you can't because you live in Maine or out of the country um, if you could make like a five dollar donation a dollar donation a 50 cent donation every little bit of money helps get me closer to the tent and all of that money goes to help um, research this disease so that maybe another 34 year old with an 11 year old daughter won't have to be sick and that's what I want and that's what my skittle hair wants and that is I'm sure what my daughter wants um, thank you all for watching. I love you, and I will see you later. Mm -hmm.